In this video, we will continue our discussion about the steps of a risk assessment. In this video, we will investigate the impact analysis section of risk assessment as described by the NIST standard and customized by CTSC. When looking at the impact of a particular risk actually taking fruition, impacts can be thought of how they will affect the workings of the system. This can be described in terms of loss or degradation of assets or services to the overall project. Was an asset compromised? Was it destroyed? Was data lost? And then how would that impact the overall system? Impacts can be thought of as what would happen if you were working with HIPAA data and that data got exposed. Or if research were working with some other type of data and were planning on using that data for a publication and that data was lost before they were able to publish. What would happen if your services were unavailable? What would it do to your reputation? What would it do to the trust of the user community and the services you provide? Other things you would look at are how much time and money are being spent returning the system to where it was prior to the vulnerability being exploited. And obviously, for many people, the loss of collaboration because your reputation has been tarnished or trust in your system has been lost. These are all things that have to be factored in when looking at the impact of a particular risk to the system. You can use a simple scale to rank impact as an approach, going with high, medium, and low for the magnitude of the impact. When looking at high, you want to look at things like, will it damage your reputation? Will data be lost? Will it affect the long-term availability of the system? Things that are very important, assets that are very important, to the success in meeting the goals of the overall project. If the risk is to those assets, and as we looked at it in the likelihood section in the previous video, if it looks like very likely risk to affect a very important asset, then the impact might very well be high. Medium ones are ones that are important but may be less likely to occur, or they might be risks that are likely to occur, but to less important pieces of equipment. And low would be risks that might occur to systems that might be important. It will probably be useful to have outside input into making the determination. Often system owners, people who are responsible for the asset, can make the best determinations. So the recommendation is to talk to people when you're looking at actual impact. Let them grade how they feel a particular risk might impact their particular asset. Then with that information, you can go through and rank the impact and perform this as part of the assessment. In this video, we have looked at making determinations about the actual impact of a risk being realized and how to grade that in your risk assessment. If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. You can get contact and other information on the CTSC website, trustedci.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI 1234408.